Yesterday, we learned the term non-standard measurement. That means you are using things that you wouldn't normally use to see how long or tall something is. Yesterday's lesson, we focused only on measuring length, and then we were able to compare lengths to see which object was shorter or longer. Today, we're going to be measuring height. That's how tall something is. We will also be comparing heights to see which is shorter or taller. I'm going to show you a picture, and I want you to look at this picture and see if you notice anything special about it. Maybe you will notice things that have to do with height or length. I am going to give you 20 seconds to notice as much as you can about the picture, and then I'm going to ask you some questions about it. Ready? Let's get started. Ready to make observations about this picture? Remember, I'm going to give you 20 seconds to see all that you can see. Let's start. Time's up. I hope you are looking closely at the picture. Looking at this picture, we might compare two things by how tall or short they are. Can you name something you see that is tall? Can you name something you see that is short? What do you notice about the daddy lion compared to the mother lion? What can we say about the boy standing in the Jeep? Is he taller than the other kids? Yes, he is. You also might want to say that something is bigger or smaller, but for right now, we are going to try to compare using the words tall and short. Let's practice measuring things that are tall and short and then practice comparing them on my slideshow. Let's practice measurement. Today we're going to practice measuring height. When we measure height, we measure how tall or short an object is. For example, this tree is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cubes tall. Remember also that we were talking about tools. Tools are things we use to help us do our jobs. In measuring, the tools we're going to be using are going to be things that are non-standard. That means they're not things that we normally use to measure with. For this activity, we are going to be using cubes and bears. We will stack them on top of each other and make sure that they're touching in order to find out how tall something is or how short it is. Then we will get to compare two objects. Remember comparing is being able to tell which object is taller or which object is shorter. Now we're going to measure how many cubes tall this snowman is. See how my cubes are touching? Let's count the cubes together. One, two, three, four, five. This snowman is how many cubes tall? You're right, five cubes tall. How many cubes tall is this flower? Let's count them together. One, two, three. How many cubes tall is this flower? Yep, three cubes tall. How many cubes tall is this chair? I'm going to give you a challenge and I'm going to ask you to predict, that means you're going to make a guess, on how many cubes tall this chair is. Say your number right now. Ready? Let's check. We stacked the cubes starting at the bottom and finishing at the top. 
Now let's count how many there were. One, two, three, four. Did you say the number four when I asked you to guess how many cubes tall the chair was? If you did, give yourself a pat on the back. Our chair is four cubes tall. Now let's try measuring with bears. How many bears tall is this pumpkin? I stacked the bears starting at the bottom and finishing at the top, making sure they did not go taller than the pumpkin. Let's count how many bears there are. One, two, three. How many bears tall is this pumpkin? Three bears tall, great job. How many bears tall is this coconut tree? Oh my goodness, that's a lot of bears. We had to start stacking them from the bottom and make sure that it finished at the top. Let's count how many bears together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness, this tree is seven bears tall. Now we're going to compare the heights of objects. For this one, you're going to tell me which picture is shorter, this can of soup or this milk carton? I hope you said can of soup. Great job. The can of soup is shorter than the milk. How about this picture? Which animal is taller? The hamster or the dog? If you said the dog was taller, great job, you were right. The dog is taller than the hamster. Which kid is shorter? The boy or the girl? I hope you said the girl is shorter because the girl is shorter than the boy. How about this one? Which object is taller? The glass of lemonade or the bowl of cereal? The cup is taller, of course. The cup is taller than the bowl. Now it's going to be your turn. You are going to find objects around your house to measure. Then, I want you to find some things around your house to compare. Maybe you want to compare what is taller or shorter, a cup or a bowl. Maybe you want to compare a book and a toy truck. Maybe you want to compare a chair and a table. You get to choose what you're comparing, but I want you to compare two things and I want you to say out loud, the chair is taller than the table. The table is shorter than the chair. I want you to use the words taller and shorter because those are the words that help describe height. I can't wait to see what you measure. Bye-bye.